Today is National Paranormal Day. Ooh, <laughs> ah, believe it or not, San Diego is a notable hotspot for paranormal activity, including the movie Paranormal Activity, which was filmed at a house in Rancho Penasquito. And we have a handful of popular haunts, including what is considered one of the most haunted mm. houses in the country, the Whaley House. And joining us now to talk about all things ghostly at the Whaley House is operations and property manager Victor Santana. Thank you for coming in tonight. Thank you for the invitation. Patrick. Tell us a little bit, like for people who haven't been, which is, you know, I've been, most people here in our <laughs> studio have been, I'm surprised this guy has not been, but tell yeah. us a little bit about the history of Whaley House. Of course. So the Whaley House was built in 1857 by a man that came from New York named Thomas Whaley. The house itself was meant to be a residence, though at some point it was San Diego's second courthouse, San Diego's first commercial theater, and one of the first stores in the area. But the main reason people remember it is because of what happened before the house was built. In 1852, they used to execute criminals on the property, and that's where some of the ghost stories begin and have continued on ever since. You know, you've been there 23 years, I think you were telling mm -hmm. us. Had you personally experienced anything paranormal at the Whaley House? I've been around when other people experienced them, but one of the coolest things that I've seen, we were filming for the TV show Ghost Adventures, very popular ghost hunting show, and as we were in one of the rooms, the theater itself, the gentleman felt something scratch his back. I was standing right behind him, it wasn't me. And then he lifted his shirt, and sure enough, you could see scratch marks in the back. When you saw the television show afterwards, you could actually see streaks of light go down his back, which meant that there was something or someone in that particular area. But nothing for you personally. I've been around when guests do it, when uh, other employees see it, but not me personally. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the equipment that you brought with yeah, you. Absolutely. Talk about that. So we have a paranormal experience that we offer late in the evening where you can utilize a couple of different tools for ghost hunting purposes. Mm -hmm. These are known as divining rods, divining rods, right? So you hold them up straight and you ask a question. Yes or no questions are the easiest ones, you know? Is there anybody in this room aside from us three? Yes, cross for yes, uncross for no. But no, it's just us at the moment, apparently, wow. right? Okay. That's the concept behind it. And then, of course, we have the thermal camera, which is here. And you can actually see changes in temperature on the screen. So you aim it somewhere in the room, and you have your warmer colors, which are your reds, your oranges. And then if it goes down in temperature, you'll see it change to blues or whites. And that usually that case. implies that there is some sort of figure or Correct. something that is with you. Yeah, that's the concept behind it. And then this is one of our favorite pieces. It's called a music box. Yeah, uh -huh. it's not my favorite. So, <laughs> go ahead. I want to hear it. It's basically a motion sensor. So you'll, you'll see it light up and then calibrate. It'll make that music box noise. Very creepy, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's you place it somewhere where you won't see a lot of movement. And then at some point, if you go in front of it, it makes that noise. So if you place it in a room where nobody else will be walking into and you hear it go off, more than then likely. Then you go run out into exactly. the other room. That's right. You, yeah. like leave. You, check it, you, you check your back for scratches. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> if, if, if anyone is interested in looking for ghosts at the house themselves, how can they do it? Do you have tours? Yeah, so we have three different options. You can come in during the day, which is our self-guided tour. You get a brief introduction about the general history of the museum. And then we have the evening tours, which are guided room by room tours of the whole house. That's where we go a little bit more into the ghost stories of the museum. And then last but not least, the most popular tool we have is the paranormal investigation experience, which is where guests can come in and utilize these pieces of equipment to go into the museum and ghost hunt. You know, uh, you talked a little bit about how the place was used to, you know, as a place to hold prisoners and execute them and so on. But there are other stories that come out of the Whaley House as well, other deaths, notable Absolutely. deaths. Absolutely. So the main ones are Thomas Whaley Jr. was one of the sons. He passed away at about a year and a half of age of scarlet fever. And he is supposed to be one of the ghosts or spirits inside the house as well. The one that most people remember is the one of Violet's, Violet Whaley. Violet was one of the daughters. She got married at a very young age. Shortly after the wedding, she finds out that the man she married was not who he said he was. Mm. Becomes very upset, depressed, tries to take her life. Doesn't really succeed. She's kept in her suicide watch after that. And eventually got a hold of her father's pistol, goes into the outhouse, the bathroom, and shot herself in the chest. She's alive when she's found. She's brought into the house where she later passed away. When people walk around the house, many claim they might feel some sadness, even pressure on their chest, 
and they believe that could be the ghost of Violet Whaley. Wow. You know what? So many stories that come out of there, but if you haven't gone, definitely, you know, people should go. We do have all that information on our website. Victor Santana, thank you for coming in. Thank you very we much. We appreciate it. Uh, again, if you want to learn more about the Whaley House or other haunted places here in San Diego, just head to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click on the Scene on Fox 5 tab.